everybody, I'm Jeff Schneider, and we're going to do a jazz tip of the day, of the week, of the month, of the year. Happy New Year. This is going to be a quick one, but it's really great. Really, really good. Okay, so it has to do with improvisation and making some actual music when you're improvising. A lot of the time when you improvise, it turns into a run-on sentence and it can just sound like you're rambling. So here's how to avoid that and actually make some concrete musical statements. Okay, so here's the thing you got to do. It's very simple. It's called the rule of three. Just came up with it maybe a few weeks ago. I think it's working really well. Um, so you play something, anything. Short, simple phrase. can be two notes, three notes, four notes. Just something, something kind of simple. For instance. Okay, so that's, I said it's the rule of three, right? So that's number one. Number two, you play the same thing, exactly the same. So you do it twice, right? Pretty easy so far. Now, the third time, you play it exactly the same, but this time you do it a little bit differently. At the very end of the little phrase that you came up with, you just kind of change it a little bit. You add, a, you add an ending. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Maybe just something simple like this. Okay, so you put all three of those together, you get this. This is not groundbreaking musical stuff here, but it's kind of a simple way of making some musical statements happen, making some actual music happen. Again, so many times you hear improvisers and they're just rambling. There's nothing to kind of latch on to. Now, if that's what you're going for, then fine, but you know that should be a choice, not something that just happens because you don't know how to make a musical statement or something that sounds uh, like a composition. So this is the way to do it. It's actually just one way to do it, but it's a very straightforward, basic way to do it. Rule of three, play it once, doesn't matter what it is. Then you play it again, exactly the same. And then on the third time, you play it once more, but add a little ending that's, that changes it up just a little bit. doesn't have to be anything crazy. Um, and then you can start stretching this a little bit. You can maybe make the second time just slightly different. So we're starting to elaborate on that, that idea. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, for now, just start with rule of three, play it once, play the same thing again, and then the third time, once more, but with a little bit of an ending, a little cap, a little bow, if you will. And that's all I'm going to say. Try it out, and uh, if you have any ideas or questions, feel free to leave a comment and subscribe for the next video. I'm going to try to pump a lot of these out for 2016, so Happy New Year, and um, that'll do it. See ya.